Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game Grandfather's Clock. Grandfather's Clock is a solitaire card game uh, that's played with a standard 52 card deck. Um, in this card game, all the cards are dealt face up from the start. Unlike with many other solitaire card games where you have cards face down, in here you know all the information as soon as you start the game. The objective of the game is to build all the cards into a clock-shaped foundation by suit so that the top cards in the foundation piles show the correct numbers on the clock face. Okay, so there's an ace right here. We want this to show ace, right? It goes up like clock does, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to 10. Jack represents 11. Queen represents 12. In terms of setting the game up, at the start of the game, a clock is formed using the following cards. A 9 of clubs, a 10 of hearts, a jack of spades, a queen of diamonds, a king of clubs, a 2 of hearts, a 3 of spades, a 4 of diamonds, a 5 of clubs, a 6 of hearts, a 7 of spades, and an 8 of diamonds. Note, this configuration is incredibly important. It is the basis for the game of Grandfather's Clock. It must be set up this way every single time you play with the cards in the exact same rank and the exact same uh, card in each spot, right? Exact same rank, exact same suit. These will always act as the base of the foundation pile no matter what. The remaining cards are dealt face up into eight columns, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With each column getting one, two, three, four, five cards. So eight columns with each column getting five cards. Now, in terms of the gameplay, uh, the foundations are built up by suit until the card with the correct corresponding number on the clock face is placed. So, ace is 1, jack is 11, queen is 12, right? Now, um, we sort of have to, I guess a better way to, to explain it is that we're going to keep playing hearts on this 10 right we're going to play the jack of hearts right because that comes after the 10 of hearts then the queen then the king then the ace then we stop here we're going to play the seven of hearts eight of hearts nine of hearts we stop six of clubs seven of clubs eight of clubs we stop five of diamonds six of diamonds seven of diamonds we stop right like that you play um the foundation pile and you build it normally like you would in any other solitaire you build it by suit but once you get to the desired number on the clock, you stop building it. The cards on the tableau are built down regardless of suit. That means that if a card is one rank lower than another card, it can be placed on that card regardless of the suit. Let us demonstrate here. We have our 4, we can place it on the 5. We can place the 3 on the 4. We can place the 7 on the 8. We can place the queen on the king, right? So as you can see, it just has to be one rank lower. Suit does not matter, color does not matter. Only the top card can ever be played. You cannot play piles of cards like you can in other solitary games. If you have an empty pile on the tableau, it can be filled with any card. So, what are the rules for Grandfather's Clock? Foundations are built up by suit until the card with the correct corresponding number on the clock face is placed. The cards on the tableau are built down regardless of suit. Only the top card of each column is available for play. Spaces in the tableau, so those are your empty spaces, they can be filled with any card. The game ends when all cards are placed into the foundations with the clock face showing the correct numbers. Let us begin and try to play. So we have our 10 here, right? So let's just see based off of what we have here, if we can make any plays here. We want to build this spot this four of diamonds up to the seven of diamonds and so the five of diamonds will contribute six of diamonds will also contribute towards that goal right as well we can build up the seven of diamonds this pile is done we've built up the clock to the desired number based off the foundation we started now we have our six of clubs would that benefit us we have a five of clubs here we want to build that up to the eight of clubs so we'll place our six of clubs there that benefits us. Now we have our eight of clubs. That's not going to benefit us, unfortunately. What about our nine of spades? Well, our nine of spades can go on this pile, but we need our eight of spades first, right? To build on the seven of spades. So that would not help us. What about our three of hearts? 
We could place our three of hearts on this two of hearts because we want to build this up to the five of hearts. You want to build each um, foundation pile on the grandfather clock up to its corresponding number in that position, right? And so the base suits are special in that they provide the base for which you uh, build um, the foundation on, right? And so here the base is queen of diamonds and so we're going to continue building on the queen in the diamond suit until we get to the three of diamonds here we have the jack of spades we are going to continue building on the jack of spades until we get to the two of spades so that's essentially it right the game's quite simple let us continue on we have our three of clubs here um that'll help um in this pile here but we need our ace of clubs and so we're going to go ahead and place that ace of clubs we have our four of clubs same thing we have our queen of hearts now our queen of hearts is going to help in this pile here but we need the jack of hearts so we can't place anything there we also have our three of diamonds the three of diamonds is going to help um, in this pile here but we don't have our king of diamonds so we cannot start building we have our eight of spades we can build on the pile containing the ten there because it starts off with the foundation as the seven of spades. We also have our king of spades, but we cannot use it yet. So, what should we do now? Well, let us think. Will the two of diamonds provide any immediate benefit? It does not seem like it. Would the queen of clubs provide any immediate benefit? Um does not seem like it so queen of clubs not beneficial now are there any other cards that would provide an immediate benefit we could go for the jack of diamonds would it benefit us no if we go for the seven of hearts would that benefit us it would indeed it would and so i feel like that is the move to make we have our seven of hearts place it right there we have our nine of diamonds now we can now then place it on the pile starting with the jack because that contains the eight of diamonds right and so we build on to it this opened up a lot more moves right we can now move the seven of clubs onto the pile containing the six of clubs hoping to build up to the eight of clubs this pile is done this pile is done once the number on the card matches the number on the clock that pile is done you have done the required building onto that pile so this game is quite fun, right? It has a unique aspect to it. So you're building a nice, fun clock. And so we have our Ace of Hearts here. Is that going to benefit us? Not yet. What about our Queen of Clubs? Nope. Are there any cards here? This Nine of Spades could benefit us. We can build this up to the Ten of Spades. We are done that pile, right? The number on the card corresponds to the number on the clock. We are done building that pile. So we now have um some more work to do here we have our queen of hearts can't be used six of spades could it really be used here no it couldn't um three of diamonds unfortunately not yet ace of hearts not yet Th four of clubs not yet three of clubs not yet Jack of Diamonds, not yet. Queen of Clubs, not yet. So, have no moves to make. Now we sort of have to think about what future moves we want to make. If we got the Ace of Spades here, would that benefit us in any manner? Um, the only way it could really benefit us is if we had our Queen of Spades, right? And so if we get our Queen of Spades, then obtaining the Ace of Spades would be very, very beneficial. So that's what we're going to do. Sorry, why did I... What, why did I forget about the King of Spades? Okay, yeah, sorry, that's... <laughs> I apologize. I don't know why I forgot about the uh, King of Spades there. Uh, but no worries. We'll still go ahead and move the Queen of Spades. But we do still need the King of Spades before we can uh, move our Ace of Spades there. Can we move the... Can we unlock the uh, King of Spades? Nope. Right? We don't have another King to place that Queen on. Uh, this Jack of Clubs cannot be moved yet. And move doing so 
uh, it wouldn't really benefit us. If we move this three of clubs, we get the four of clubs. Wouldn't benefit us at all. Ace of hearts not beneficial. Uh, this three of diamonds, um, not really beneficial either. And we also have six of spades. You know, is the six of spades beneficial? Nope. Um, is the two of diamonds beneficial? Nope. Wouldn't be. And with the king of spades, the king of spades would be beneficial. We have to find a way to move this queen somehow. To move this queen somehow, we're going to have to unlock a king. To unlock a king, we're going to have to move one of these. To move one of these, we're going to need... Oh, we're going to need another four. We're going to need another four here. So this is going to be, get a bit messy. Okay. This is going to get a really, really messy. Um, right, we we want that, um, essentially, if we can get to that king, uh, that'll be beneficial, right? Because not on the way, we'll also be able to get this club done, right? So that's our goal here. And to do that, we're going to need to unlock a four. To unlock a four, Okay, we're going to have to, okay, this is going to be a bit messy, and I do apologize. Okay, we're going to place that four of spades right there. Then we're going to place that five of spades as well as that six of spades. So notice how while I'm trying to move to go for another card, it's allowing me to finish some other foundation piles as well. All right, so that's a bit of an added bonus. We can also move this four of spades. Uh, sorry, four of hearts there. Now, we wanted to go for that king, and so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to first move that three. Okay. By doing so, we can free up this 10 of clubs. And by doing so, um, we can hopefully sort of try to make a better move here. So that's not a move we want to make actually. Now what we're going to do is we're going to free up uh, this three, as well as this four, right? You see, once you have two empty piles, you can effectively order cards how you'd like them, right? So I move those that three and that four, and then I move that three back over, giving me one more empty pile. I'll move the eight right there onto that seven of hearts. We then have our two of clubs. And now we can simply complete this pile as well. So we're looking for that king, right? Um, we're going to continue playing. It's not letting me place the card in that empty pile, right? So we're going to move, move that empty pile there, right? Remember, you're building by descending order. We have our jack of clubs here and our ten of clubs. So we'll place our ten of clubs, then our jack of clubs, then our queen of clubs, right? So as you go for a target card, you'll automatically notice that your other foundation piles sort of open up, allowing you to complete your grandfather clock. Now, we have our ten of diamonds that will naturally order there as well. And our Jack of Diamonds will order there as well. So, that we completed that this pile, this pile, this pile. We're missing the Nine of Hearts. But we got one, two, three, four, five, six piles done. Seven. Right, so we got seven piles done. Uh, let us sort of look, right? We got our King of Diamonds. That's going to help us build on that pile. Now, we can simply get the Ace of Diamonds. Then the Two. And then the three. So we're done that pile now as well. We have uh, to go for another card here, really. So. Not letting me place a card on that empty pile. Perhaps I'm not placing it sophisticated enough, so I apologize. Okay, so. Nine of hearts. This pile is done. Okay. We now we need the five of hearts. This pile, done. Four of clubs, 
corresponds to the number on the clock. This pile is done. Three of diamonds corresponds to the number on the clock, which is a three. This pile is done. We want to finish this pile. Let's get our king of spades, then our ace of spades, as well as our two of spades. This pile is done. We have one more pile left. Let us finish it off. So, notice how all the numbers on our cards, or ranks on our cards rather, correspond to the number on the clock, right? Now we'll be able to complete our grandfather clock. And so, essentially just note, right? Follow the strategy, aim for a card, um, and see what you can do to get to that card. While you're doing that, you'll automatically notice that uh, your other cards are also being unlocked on the way there, right? In terms of setting the game up, once again, this is very important. A clock is formed using the nine of clubs, ten of hearts, jack of clubs, queen of diamonds, king of clubs, two of hearts, three of spades, four of diamonds. And so let us re-announce it here, right? The nine of clubs at the twelve o'clock position. 10 of hearts at the 1 o'clock position, jack of spades at the 2 o'clock position, queen of diamonds at the 3 o'clock position, king of clubs at the 4 o'clock position, 2 of hearts at the 5 o'clock position, 3 of spades at the 6 o'clock position, 4 of diamonds at the 7 o'clock position, uh, 5 of clubs at the 8 o'clock position, 6 of hearts at the 9 o'clock position, 7 of spades at the 10 o'clock position, 8 of diamonds at the 11 o'clock position and 9 of clubs at the 12 o'clock position. Um, and so these are always the basis for the foundation piles. This is very important if you want to have a fun game of Grandfather's Clock. The remaining cards are dealt face up into 8 columns, with each column getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cards. In terms of playing the game, uh, the foundations are built up by suit until the card with the correct corresponding number on the clock face is placed, right? Uh, the cards on the tableau are built down regardless of suit. Only the top card uh, in the tableau piles are, is available for play, right? You cannot ever play a pile of cards. Um, and sp empty spaces in the tableau can be filled with any card. The game ends when all the cards are placed into the foundations with the clock faces showing the correct numbers. This is one of my most favorite solitaire card games because it uh, resembles a nice fun clock. I hope you enjoyed and uh, thank you for watching.